Hello Math Attacks here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the tier 6 British tank destroyer, the Excalibur, which is the second campaign first reward tank. Before we get into the action, we'll have a look at the crew and equipment I've currently got on this tank. Crew on this tank, not a bad crew, they're from the FA405, they're all onto the third skill. The equipment that I use is camo net, gun rammer and binoculars. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on Redshire, it's a standard battle and we've got the 357 matchmaking and today I'm bottom tier. I thought I'd show you this replay because I've hardly played this tank. Have to say I don't really enjoy it. I thought I'd bring it out for a battle since it's a reward tank from the second campaign. This is the first reward tank. If you're into tank destroyers that you camp in and snipe, then you may enjoy this, but that's not my gameplay. So that's probably why I don't really enjoy playing it. At the moment I'm just knocking down all the trees so I can hide in them. I'm a bit wary of that whaled vehicle just in front of us. But I'm going to try and get on the ridge and see if I can get a shot into them. You do get 10 degrees of gun depression with this tank. Damage one of his whales. No damage to him though. Getting one shot in. Can I get the second? There's a second. I'm getting hit by an A25 from the left though so I'll have to pull back. I find with this tank you've really got to stay hidden, don't really want to get caught out, you haven't got that many hit points, it's 750 and the armor's terrible on this, you're not going to bounce shots. On the hull you get 50mm on the front, 25mm on the side, 15mm on the rear and your turret armor you get 50mm on the front, 30mm on the side and 7mm on the rear but you can't really get to the back of the turret unless you turn it right round so I managed to sneak a shot into the projecto there I didn't get spotted either I do have my camo net and binoculars activated at the moment when I activate my binoculars I get my view range to 459 meters, which is really good just over the 440 max but that is only when I'm stationary once I start moving it drops right down but this tank you do really want to keep a distance keep in bushes double bush if you can and just try and pick the enemy off with a great rate of fire you do get with this tank tried to sneak another one into the projecto but it missed I'm lit up now so I'm going to try and tuck in behind this rock a little bit I'm not sure what's lit us up there so I'll tell you about the gun now is the best thing about this tank there's only a small 76 millimeter you get 150 alpha damage with 165 penetration which isn't great for a tier 8 battle I've noticed that we're losing the east side of the map now so I'm going to reposition and see if I can help over there there's an A25 one that shot us earlier on can I get a shot into him didn't penetrate come on reload did get one into him, can I finish him off? He's gone behind that rock, is it a rock? He's been taken out, so don't have to worry about him. Gb3 is looking at us, I'll sneak a shot into him and pull back. Don't want to get shot by something like that, it'll take most of my hit points. I'm going to wait till I'm not lit up anymore. And then I'm going to position myself in one of these bushes. Activate my camo net and binoculars and see if I can spot. So back to the gun. With my crew and equipment, I have an aim time of 1.69 seconds, which is really good. The accuracy on this tank, I've got a dispersion of 0.28, which is absolutely fantastic. And my reload time is 3.8 seconds, which gives us a DPM of 2,369, which is really good as well, especially at tier 6. If you're playing against tier 4s, You'll absolutely tear them apart with that DPM, with the rate of fire you do get on this tank. So I've spotted the KV3. Not sure if I've spotted him, but he has been lit. 
getting a shot into him and tracked him. He cut it spotters though. There's a second into him. Come on. There's a third into him. Can have an action X. I'll probably have trouble with him. And he's spotted us. I need to pull back. Taking the shot. Tried another shot into the KV3. Didn't get it. I need to get out of this position. Can't sit in front of a Carnarvon Action X. One thing that isn't great with this gun is the shell velocity, which is only 910 meters per second. If it was quicker, this gun would be absolutely fantastic. You do get to carry 60 shells with this tank, but you will use a lot of them as long as you don't die. Can I get the side of the Carnarvon Action X? I've snuck a shot into him. Has he spotted us? I am lit, but he's not aiming at me. Oh, he was there getting a shot into us, but I take him out. So I'm down to 160 hit points. Not sure where that KV3 is now. I'm going to pull back. Definitely a one-shotter. So I'm going to reposition now. I'm sure we didn't take care of that KV3 without us. He is late, and the artillery finishes him off. So I've made my way back into these bushes again. See if I can get my binoculars activated and spot somebody. I'm going to make my way into this bush, then activate my camo net and binoculars. There was some tanks in them bushes. So I've activated my camo net and binoculars, and I've spotted a wolverine. I'm not going to fire. If I fire, I might get spotted. And there's the assistance there. There's Lowe's Sherman. He's pulling back, so I'm going to sneak a shot into him. I did get lit, taking a shot. Good job, he couldn't take us in one shot. He must have been the only tank that couldn't. So I'm down to 38 hit points now. So I'm going to have to reposition. There's the artillery strike. Lucky I did pull back. So I'm going to reposition now. Another thing about this tank, it's mobility. It's not slow, but it's not really the greatest, especially since you've got no armor to get you out of trouble if you did get spotted. So you do have a top speed going forward at 50 kilometers an hour and you have a reverse speed of 15 kilometers an hour, which isn't great for getting yourself back over ridges. This tank definitely comes in the category of a glass cannon. The problem you have with it though, with so little alpha damage, you do need to be firing a lot. But to fire a lot, you really need to be double bushed because if you get spotted, you will get finished off. And when you've got an MM like this, you need to fire and penetrate at least 10 to 15 shots to take a level 8 tank out, where some of them, especially the heavies, can take you out in two shots. So back to the battle. i am keep on moving forward, activating my camo net and binoculars, see if I can spot anybody. When I can't, I move to the next bush, activate my camo net and binoculars, see if I can spot. Still haven't spotted. I'm really wary because I know they're close. So I'm going to move again and hopefully I can spot that Churchill. WZ, tank destroyer, tier 8. Can I get a shot? Didn't penetrate. Critical. I'll not be able to penetrate them with this gun. Pull back. I didn't get spotted and there's the Churchill. I'm double pushed. I didn't spot him either. I kind of get a shot in though. He must be behind a rock. It's been taken out though so that's all good. So I move forward into this bush. There's a Progetto, an artillery and that WZ111 1FT. Activate me camo net and binoculars. Shed was over there, there's the artillery. Missed with that shot, that's surprising. Get a shot into the artillery, can I finish him off? And somebody just beat us to it. At least the artillery's gone. Just waiting. I'm planning my next move. This is the last bush, so I can't really move forward. So I'm gonna pull to the left a little bit, drop down into that stream. That should give us cover. Whoa! Only 38 hit points, didn't really want to fly off there. Slam the brakes on the last minute. So I'm going to pull along this riverbed. See if I can get right to the back of the map. Into the bushes. Then start lighting things up again. 
That WZ pushing towards our Scorpion. That's miles away. He'll not spot us. Still don't know where the Pajetto is though. Does look like my teammates are getting some shots into him. So that's definitely a good thing. 300, 300 and something hit points left. So I've made it to the end of the map. Want to move up to a set of bushes. Line of bushes. Activate my camo net and binoculars. There's the Pajetto. Can I get a shot in? I can see him. And beaten to the shot again. I tried to aim in too much. I've just changed the gold ammo now. I hardly ever use this gold ammo. I hate the stuff. But the difference you get with the gold on this tank is my penetrations went up from 165 to 192 now. So I might have a chance of penetrating them with that. But the shell velocity also goes up to 1100 meters per second so that's a lot better so i've moved into this bush activate my camo net and binoculars see if i can get his bottom plate if he crests this ridge but he's not he's to me right i am spotted but he's not looking my way see if i can penetrate with this didn't penetrate still come on see if i can get another shot in and finish him off and that's the second tier rear tank that i've destroyed Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a class 1 barge. We got the Helons medal. Destroy at least two enemy tanks or tank destroyers in a tank destroyer in one battle. The enemy must be at least two tiers higher. And the Confederate medal. Hit more enemy vehicles than any other player on your team at least six. We hit eight. Top of the tray for XP with a BS XP of 1126. Third for damage. We made 46,000 credits, but that's due to a personal mission payout. We also made 3,885 XP. That's due to playing a premium vehicle. And an award for the first victory each day, which was at times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.